Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be part 2 of the office building. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add the grid lines, levels, and also exterior and interior walls. In today's video, we're going to continue working on this. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to use interior wall number two and I'm going to click CS. That's for create similar. I wanted to create the same Wall, so I'm gonna add the wall right here, and don't worry, we are going to align that afterwards, and then just go all the way to G, and with this, I want to maintain 1400 for the corridor. And then after that, we could close this off. So, same wall. And we're going to close it here. And then another one here. So AL to align this and then after that this will be toilets for ladies and men's. So I just want to double check. So we could add or make it even for them. So I'm going to click the walls again and edit type. I'm going to duplicate this and then edit. Make this one 200 and change the materials to masonry unit for now. Or let's use lightweight. I don't, I, I don't know if I already used that. So I just want to make sure and I need to change some walls. So I'm going to change this wall by highlighting everything and holding control button. And then after that, I just need to switch from two to three. So that's how easy it is to change um, a wall type. Press escape and don't forget to align this. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is just to add doors. So adding doors, you will be able to visualize everything. So I'm going to use the default door that um, Revit has. So I'm just going to click this one. And then let's add a door here and then another door at the other side and then just click on the space bar to change orientation. I will also add it here and click space bar. And then let's add more. So I'm going to add it here. And I'm going to add it here as well. I'm also going to add it here. 
and year. And then here as well. Door right here for the office. This will be the storage, office storage. And then we have a door here as well. We have the reception here and the, the, the grid. Enter for here. And there's also an entrance from here as well. Let's add the door here and a door right here. Also here. And also here. We'll add it here as well and the opposite so for the big boardroom the um, room we could add multiple doors so that it's not secluded to this door only i just though i just want to double check and we could add it here now So what I have is a toilet for men's and women's. And what we could um, insert now is a double door. So let's go to doors and let's go commercial exterior double door so let's look for a double door so let's add this one and i just want to double check so yeah let's add this one so let's add an exterior in this this one I'm just gonna press OK and if you add multiple like that it's better to just um, purge it afterwards so that um, your Revit file doesn't go big so here we can add in the double door and we could add a double door here as well and then let's change this to double door flush i'm going to add it here and then erase this for now like that So instead of that, I'll just remain it as uh, single for now and change it up afterwards. Let's also load the uh, elevator door. So let's go back and look for specialty equipment and then elevators and lift we could click on the wall based and then click open press yes and let's click this one instead so let's press escape for now and then load it again 
So I'm going to load this again and then press open. And after that, the error didn't come anymore. So that means we were able to load this. And let's see if it's under doors or component. So it's under component. So now we could just add it here. So I'm going to add one right here. So we're going to add four each on this side. And we could just align it right now, like this. So we have our elevators now. Um, I forgot to add in some doors here. This is another stairs. And then with that stairs, we will need to add in a wall. We're going to add a wall right here. And then a wall like this. Press escape and then add in a door again. We also need to add in a service elevator so we're gonna click this and add in an elevator like that press escape we're also going to select this wall NCS we're gonna close this off and around 2000 is good enough and after that we're going to trim this TR trim and actually let's make this bigger so around 3000 it's good um, let's click this actually the door let's add in the door here because this is another stairs and then after that Let's change this door like this. So for the ground floor or level one, this will be a building service area. But later on, when we go to level two and beyond, this will be an open space for employees. To go smoke or like a little garden that they could do so i just want to double check everything we have our open area here we could add in some um, open tons of furniture and then we have like offices meeting ro uh, meeting room boardroom we have some prayer room, stairs right here, washroom, men's and women, janitor's room. We have our office storage. We also have IT server room, our break room right here as well. So, and then lobby for the lift and all the elevators as well so so far everything is looking good i'm happy with what we came up to so i want to put some room tags so that we could uh, determine or we could differentiate each and every rooms like this so I'm going to click on this 
and click each and every one of this and then afterwards we're going to change the names And let's put something here as well. And press escape. And then now we could start adding some names. So the first thing that we're going to put is this one. Double click. Test lobby. There's one managers, then regular rooms. Office room. Let's put some number here so that we can differentiate. Conference room. Let's put this at meeting room two. And then meeting room no one IT office storage. Open office area. Office room three. boardroom and then we could have another meeting room here break room we can add this one as idea room where employees can relax and come up with good ideas this is gonna be the stairs again stairs number two and then 
we have reception greeting area service lobby service area Then squash room, and then women's muscle. And let's not forget. The building lobby or entrance and let's not forget this one you can have this as a prayer room So I just want to double check that everything is marked and was edited. Okay, looks good. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.